Hey, y'all. I'm Austin Vance, CEO and co-founder of Focus Labs. I've had a ton going on at work recently, so I had a couple weeks where I missed doing my standard YouTube tutorials. So what I want to do while I prepare a nice long agent graph tutorial for everybody is to do a few short tutorials throughout the week on how easy it is to integrate local LLMs into Langchain. So local LLMs give you a ton of optionality. There's a ton of options. There's a ton of ways to run them. You can fine tune them. But best of all, they're free to use and free to run as long as your computer can support them. And because of that, you can test, iterate, play with them without having to worry about racking up a massive OpenAI, Gemini, Cloud bill. So hopefully this tutorial is great. Let's dive into some code and I'll show you how easy it is to use. Here we are. Just like always, we have a blank project. This blank project we're just going to call local LLM. And the first part of this is I want to try to do in about five to 10 minutes how easy it is to use Olama. Olama is a really cool command line utility that lets you run local LLMs. It's accelerated on Macs. It works on Windows. It's phenomenal. And you can just pull down any model or pretty much any model you want. So you would pop into your models here. You can see all the models that you have, and then you can pull down any of them. So before we started, I pulled down Llama 2 with chat. And I popped in here. I can see that Llama 2 chat, and I pulled it down. So to get Olama up and going, all you have to do is just on a Mac, brew, install Olama. And I already have it, so it's there. It'll tell me that. And it needs to reinstall it. If you don't have it, then it would tell you to install it. And then you would just Olama serve. Olama runs as a little HTTP server locally, and it serves all of your models out. And then all you need to do is pick the model you want to run. And so because I already decided I wanted to run chat, I can see everything that I need to hear. I can copy this command pop in here and just say run Olama 2 chat. And it should just, or run Llama 2 chat. And it should just start up. If I don't have the model, it'll download it for me automatically. Let's just pop into one I don't have. We could just say text, for example. And if I exit out, and if I just say text, we can see that it'll start to download. I don't want to download the whole thing. I'm out on Starlink, so it'll take forever and I have a data cap. But if I pop over to chat here, I already can ask questions to Olama. So like, where is Paris? And boom, there we go. I'm on a nice little Mac that can run pretty fast. It's accelerated with the GPU and I'm good to go. So now that I have all of this going, I have Olama installed, we're running. It's easy to use, just like super simple to use. All you have to do is browse your models, like I said. Then all I want to do is start building up my project. So let's add Langchain. So of course we want to use Langchain. I'm going to do a really simple model for us. So I'm going to pull in Langchain and I'm going to just start a new file. And we can just call it olamademo.py. And now if I want to run Olama locally, Langchain actually has a bunch of models built into it. You can hop into Langchain's documents and you go to the Langchain docs and you click on integrations. You'll see a bunch of stuff here, but under LLMs, you have all the LLMs they support and Olama is right here or right here. And it tells you what they support. I actually think this is outdated. It does do streaming and a handful of other things. And I'll show that to you, but you can just pull up their docs and it shows you how to interact with it in a handful of different ways. And what's really cool is with Langchain, you can interact with a multimodal model or with a local model or with, sorry, a text-only model. For this, I just want to use a text-only model since it's super simple. I just want to say Olama and I'm going to give it a model and we're going to say our Olama 2 chat. And there we go. We'll import that. And then if you remember, LCEL is super easy. So... All I have to do is say, maybe we'll call this something, we'll call this LLM, and we can say LLM.invoke, and we give it a question, like, where is Paris? And I print my output. If I want to stream while that's running, I can stream this. So I can say, 
something along the lines of four chunk in output print chunk. And then I can say like flush true and maybe like end is going to be just that. But if you notice here, I got the output. Here are some specific locations in Paris, but Paris is the largest city in France. Boom. But if I stream it now, because all LCEL pipelines give me full streaming, I get my streaming just as I would expect right there. So just popped right out. Isn't that nice? And then because we have LCEL, just so I can show you how powerful LaSalle is, I don't know if it's called LaSalle or LCEL. Honestly, I'd love for Langchain to, to tell me. I can show you how you would just like integrate a prompt into it. And then maybe we just pull it into the rag I did in my previous videos. So say I just want to say like prompt template dot from template. So I give it a template. Let's import this thing and then we'll just say you are a, what do we want to say? You are a person and grumpy car tog grubber. Spell that right? Nope. We are a tourist and dump, grumpy cartographer. You insult people who ask obvious questions, but still always answer. And then let's do this as a here doc, because that'll make this a lot easier. And then we'll say answer following question 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 and then there we go and then i can probably just bring this up there and put that down there and then i have now my prompt template and so if i pull my output down here i can say instead of streaming that i want to stream now a dictionary and i'll say quote question and where's Paris and if I just run this now I'm not using my prompt anywhere so if I put this together and I say prompt and I say prompt here and I pipe that in if you remember our LaSalle or LCEL pipe there we go we have a grumpy cartographer oh for crying out loud Paris is really asked you're asking me that. You can't see I'm busy mapping out the terrain of Middle Earth and then Paris, which, oh yeah, it's right here in France. It still answers the question, but as you can see, it's using our prompt. This is a really simple demo. Of course, any LaSalle pipeline can take a local LLM. And really cool is if I come over to and have my old PDF rag up. So let's pull up a new window here. This old PDF rag is what I built in my demo on a full end-to-end -end rag. Like I said, I'll link it up in the description. But if you look here, I have one LLM in my whole rag pipeline. So here I have a rag chain and that rag chain is served through LangServe. And I don't want to go over all of that. Go watch that tutorial if you're curious. But here I have this rag. And so if I just comment this out and I pop back over to this and I grab this LLM. So I'm not even going to rewrite more code. I'm going to just pull in a llama here. And as you can see, pulled in a llama, I replaced the LLM, so I just shadowed over that old variable. I can now go into my terminal and I can say lang serve, or sorry, poetry run lang serve, serve, and, or lang chain, lang chain serve. Yeah, there we go. And I have my rag spun up. This rag requires me to be running Postgres somewhere. It is running. If you follow the tutorial, it'll all be there. But now, as you look, I can come up to my web server, and it's running. And if I click Invoke, so now I can use the LangServe kind of fast API documentation, and we'll just go try it out. And if I click here and I say, where is Paris? Remember, we don't have the or sorry, let's do something for the rag. So let's say, what is the case about? So this rag is about the lawsuit between Epic and Apple. And so it's pulling the law, the case documentation for Epic Apple lawsuit. And uh, hopefully when I get a, what is the case about, it'll pull all that out of the retriever 
And then from there, we get a really nice response. And here it is. The answer is definitely not what we were looking for. What is the case about? Gives me a question about the a laptop. And so I'm a little surprised about that. So let's figure out why. Oh, it's because I forgot to give it a session is my guess. I'll give it a random session here and see if that gives me a better answer. Yep, and here we go. Because now I gave it a session, it says certainly Epic Games versus Apple is about a legal dispute in the video game developer industry. And as you notice, we've retrieved some documents. There's page content here that would support what we are looking to or support the RAG as you would expect. And then actually really cool, if I go to Langsmith and I pop into the correct project here and I look at my PDF rag running locally, I get my what is the case about and I can actually see the retriever running and I can see that it's running through Olama. And so I can see Olama gets this, that's the final answer. It's run into Olama. We're using Olama to generate the questions. We have a handful of or a handful of documents. Olama returns our questions. And so we get a huge amount of information straight out of Langsmith. So that's how easy it is to swap in and out handfuls of different LLMs. You can do that at runtime or at build time, but I hope this was super helpful and super interesting. And I'll do another one later in the week. So we'll get a couple this week where instead of using Olama, we use LM Studio, which is another way to download and run local LLMs. And maybe if I have some time later in the week, I'll also do one where we show you how you can run a multimodal Olama. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was fun. These are always really fun to make. I love the feedback. And as always, please leave comments, like, subscribe. It means a ton. I try to answer every comment. I give code help to anyone who needs it. Learning how to develop software is one of the things I love the most, and hopefully you get the same passion I have for it. So like always, keep on crushing software and look for you in the next tutorial. Thank you.